Right, here we have two Minolta cameras, film cameras, they're not digital. So this is the Minolta X700, it's, it's quite a good one, it's a black body. To use the shutter, you need to have the battery in, in good shape. We've changed the battery recently, we've got some batteries locally, so the shutter won't work if the batteries are flat, nor will it work if it's not switched on. You've got to look right, right in here, there's a little switch which says off, and you've got to turn it to on. But to turn it on, you've got to find the lower ring, not the top ring, the lower ring. When you turn it, it will go from off. I think we can see that in there. Yep, I can. So now we should be on. Once it's switched on here, it's on that bottom ring. That's where you've got to turn. And you can turn it off. Don't leave it on all the time. Now it's on, it'll allow you to advance the film by bringing this lever across here and the film will advance. Close it up. To take a picture, push the center button here and the shutter will, you'll hear a noise and the shutter will open. If you don't want the noise, you can move to another position on the same switch and it won't give you a noise. It just lets you know that the camera's working. The general functions are much the same as any other camera. camera. There's aperture priority uh, and there's... What's that mean? Uh, well, it means that you, the aperture you set, this is the amount of light coming into the camera. So that's what you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to learn all these... This is not a, not a digital camera, this is an analog. So you've got to set it all up. And you can choose the speed of the, of the camera, which is the speed that that the shutter opens, or you can choose the, the wideness of the aperture. So it's how much light comes in, or you can choose how fast it lets light in. So you can go from one second, to two seconds, to three seconds, four, five, and you just keep going until you get to one thousandth of a second. This is as fast as the camera will go. This is for high speed, you know, cyclists, runners, you want to stop them in mid-air. If you drop the, the speed back, you'll actually get a blur. So the runner will have his legs moving, and they'll be blurred. Cars in the street will blur. So you've got a lot of control here. But the main thing is to remember, just get, get some, to turn it on, the base ring, the advance the film here. If for some reason you can't do it, don't force this, whatever you do. There's a, it's a very complex mechanism inside here. To change the film, here on this side, you've got to bring that little lever up and pull it. Once you pull this lever here, the back opens. And this is where you get into the film camera. These are the films here. So we've got film. We'll put that camera down there. Don't touch any of this. Whatever you do, don't touch that. That's the, that's the shutter which allows the light to hit the film, which is dragged across these two swirls here. Don't touch that. Any, anything from your hands will destroy this camera. It'll start corroding. You get a film, which you can still buy. This is an unused 35mm Kodak 100 ASA. You've got to tell the camera what ASA you're putting into it. You'll see the, this on the back. It now has 400 ASA in it. So you can still buy them. This is a Kodak film. If you look around online, you'll get them. This is 100 ASA, so it's very slow to light. This one's very fast. So you, you can choose faster speeds by having a, bit, a bigger number. The slower you go, the more detail you'll get in the picture, but you'll... Uh, Yes, yeah, the graininess, what you were talking about, graininess. So the, the finer this number, the smaller this number, the more detail you'll get. When you start going up to 400 and 500, 600, you'll get a grainier picture, if that's what you want. This is a brand new film, right? So we've never been used. It's, it'll be 30 years old. It's probably quite useless. You can see there's a tag out. If there's no tag, the film has been used. So you open up the camera and you put the film in there. And it will allow you to put it in when you pull that lever away. You pull it up and you put the film in into there. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get this up further. Bear in mind, these are old fashioned cameras. So we're allowing this to pull it up. Uh, why isn't it going there? We've got to completely get that film in there. Well, I'm going to not muck around with it too much. They're all the same size. I might have to put it in my hand. I don't, don't click it. 
Right. So I'm going to pull this well up to allow the film to go in. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it going in? Bear with me here. It's a standard film. It should go in. Maybe Alan's putting it the wrong way, but it can't be the wrong way. Or maybe it can be. Okay, now we've got it. Right, bring the thing back. And it locks in there. Okay, so you should be able to see the tag. I was putting it up the wrong way, which is fair enough, because I haven't done this for a long time. Bring the film across here. And it will grab one of these little notches here. And then, because it's been there a long time, we'll see if we can bring it through. We'll get that to pull through. Nope. Sorry. I've got to find the right position here. This is a bit different to some of the others we have. We've got to get that film to grab. Will I stop it? Well, you, you can, but yeah, I'm just 